New York City. A city that we're always drawn to for its people. Its culture. A city that's famous for its iconic skyline and its unique architecture. And within the skyline is a tower designed by one of the world's most exclusive luxury brands. Hey everyone, welcome to Baccarat Hotel and Residences in Midtown Manhattan. Today we're touring this amazing duplex unit that's located on the 18th and 19th floor, faces these incredible views, has an outdoor terrace with a pickleball court, and it's all complemented with interiors that have been recently remodeled. Now, all these qualities make this unit a rare find, and that's why I'm beyond excited to show it to you. All right, everyone, let's start our tour. This is the entry. Staircase on my right-hand side takes us up to the second floor. And before we go into the living room, I wanna show everyone this gorgeous powder bathroom, marble floors, stone vanity with this marble vessel sink, chrome fixtures, ceiling mount light fixture, and you have your LED lit mirror, a lot of stone elements, and it's just a nice, elegant powder bathroom. Now, going back, we have the living room beautiful space, so much natural light coming in, opens up to your wraparound terrace, small dining area here. And before I talk more about this space, I wanna go this way so we can check out the office, desk, floor to ceiling glass windows, bring so much natural light. You have a shelf on this side, small seating area here, natural stone floors throughout, really nice space. And you can turn this room into a bedroom because it has a full bathroom. Mike, can actually stop right there for a second. Flush doors, they're always really nice. And behind the door, we have the walk-in shower, glass enclosed, and the stone walls continue to this side where we have the vanity, floating cabinet on the bottom, LED lit mirror, your toilet, and you have sliding glass doors opening up to your wraparound terrace from your bathroom. This is awesome. Yeah, and this wraps around the entire unit, yeah? Entire unit, entire floor. Now, let's go back this way. So we can check out the living room again. Just an elegant space. Love this L-shaped couch. You have your coffee table, fireplace on the other side. Nice recessed in section for your future TV. Then we have two doors opening up to the wraparound terrace. Built-in section extends out to this side where we have a small dining area. I also really like the reeded stone selection here. It gives it a nice contrast. It's just a beautiful space. Obviously we're in New York City, fantastic views throughout. This 3,200 square foot terrace is absolutely insane and we're gonna check out that later. Now, while I'm here, I wanna cover the specs of this unit. So we have five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, approximately 4,200 square feet of interior space. This was actually a combination unit. It's a combination of a three bedroom and a one bedroom apartment. So that's how they get basically a five bedroom, seven bathroom layout, really unique on the market for $27,950,000. And I wanna give big thanks to the listing agents, Ryan Garson and Brian Lewis for making this tour possible. More information about this amazing residence will be in the description of this video. I'm excited to be in New York City and uh, let's continue our tour. Before we continue our tour, I wanna to give big thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Mental health is something that we take serious pride in and we believe therapy is an amazing outlet to be utilized if you feel the need to talk to someone about anything that's going on in your life. If you don't know what BetterHelp is, they're the world's largest therapy service with over 25,000 licensed and experienced therapists. Not to mention it's 100% online, which is amazing, especially for someone like myself who travels all the time. We're in New York City right now. A few days ago, we were in upstate New York. Before that, we were in LA. So it makes it easy for you to make your appointments since you don't have to show up in person. To get started, all you have to do is go online, answer a few questions, and that way BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist. 
After that, you can communicate with your therapist at a time that's most convenient to you via text, phone call, or FaceTime. And if for some reason the therapist that you match with isn't the right fit for you, you can switch to a new therapist absolutely free of charge. With BetterHelp, you can expect the same professional and quality service as if it's in person, but with a therapist who's willing to work around your schedule and at a more affordable cost. To get started, all you have to do is go to betterhelp.com ns to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, and I'll also link them in the description of this video so you can find out more information about them. Big thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video, and now let's continue our tour. Now, welcome to the formal dining room. You have your solid wood table, seating for eight, chandelier above and of course you have your sliding glass doors opening up to the outdoors so there's an amazing flow now what i also like about this space is the fact that it has its own wet bar you have your sink you have your ice maker two full-size wine fridges that are nicely integrated to the cabinetry uppers with led lighting it's just a nice elegant setup that really complements your dining room and it also complements your kitchen which is on the other side now, I really like the overall design and the layout of this kitchen. Island is a unique take because not only you have your island with beautiful natural stone countertops, waterfall edge, countertops are actually flush to the cabinetry, so it gives you that extra contemporary look. Then you have this integrated section, which is another small dining area, seating for four, with a stainless steel countertop. I feel like if I lived in this residence, I would use this space all the time. It's just right next to your kitchen, it's intimate, opens up to the terrace or it's so close to the terrace and it's just a fun take on a contemporary kitchen like this. Now you have your paneled fridge and freezer, both built-in appliances, oven down below, espresso maker above and on the island we have the microwave and another small wine fridge. Now let's focus on this side, rest of your base and upper cabinets. Again, it looks very contemporary. You have your dishwasher on this side Uppers are a little pushed back and they recessed in this LED lighting to just bring more light to the kitchen. Natural stone backsplash, under cabinet lighting here, your sink, wolf induction cooktop, vent above. Just a really nice kitchen. To the point, fits the space extremely well. This is kind of a linear unit. So I feel like it takes advantage of the length and uh, you just have great views. Yeah, and I'm assuming the combination comes with this floor and the floor above us, right? Correct. Okay. Correct. Now, welcome to this hallway that leads us to a bedroom. But before we go in there, I actually want to take everybody to the bathroom. This is technically your second powder bathroom. You have beautiful natural stone floors. They also have radiant heating throughout the bathrooms and throughout the stone floors in this unit. Then you have your stone back wall, fabricated sink, chrome fixtures, LED lit mirror, toilet on the other side, good size powder bathroom. Nice pocket door here to save some space. And speaking of space saving, look at this cabinet right here that tucks. Actually, it doesn't tuck, but you have a stack washer and dryer. That's a, I mean, not like this place wouldn't have it, but that's coveted in New York, obviously, you know? Obviously, but it's nicely tucked into this cabinet here. Yeah. Now, follow me this way. This door opens up to the first bedroom suite on this level. You have your full size bed bedside tables, staging looks really nice, room is very spacious, and I just love that you can open up your sliding glass doors and walk out to your terrace in Midtown on an amazing street like this. It's pretty unheard of and you get phenomenal views and it's just the amount of outdoor space you have and how all these rooms that we just toured are connected to the outdoors, pretty amazing. Yeah, we are in a ideal location. Um, we are kind of around some places we've been before. We'll talk about that in a second, but Absolutely. Uh, it's, it's good out there. It is. All right, now let's actually turn this way for a second. More built-in cabinetry. I love these doors. I have to show it to everyone. And then on the corner, they even made good use out of this space. Additional cabinetry. That's interesting. I've never seen anything quite like that before. This door is pretty unique. Yeah. All right, now let's check out the bathroom. It's actually behind these two barn doors. Then you have an additional door. You have beautiful honed marble floors that go all the way into the walk-in shower. We also have radiant heating here, glass enclosed shower, chrome fixtures. You have your built-in bench. And on the other side, your floating corner cabinetry, 
Again, stone tops, LED lit mirrors, ceiling mount light fixtures. You even have an open corner shelving here where they incorporated these plugs. That way you can leave your stones all clean and you don't have to have any cutouts. Really nice design. And I gotta say, every time we travel or every time we tour a property that's staged, they always have Aesop. We see this brand all the time. I just want to acknowledge that, Mikey, I know you love their soaps. Yeah, I do a lot of hand washing on these shoots. That's something y'all don't know. Uh, something that's really hard to capture in, in, uh, in these tours that we do is like the quality of like the products they have between candles and, and linens Sense. and scents. But uh, something about the way your hands feel and smell after using this a Aesop. premium product. A, yeah, a premium product like Aesop. It's, uh, it's a different kind of feeling altogether. It's an experience. If you've never tried Aesop, definitely give them a go. Yeah. So I wanted to mention that. Overall, just a beautiful bathroom. And now let's go back to the bedroom again so we can check out this amazing terrace. Follow me this way. You have your sliding glass doors open up and welcome to Midtown. This is incredible. This is part of your residence and Look at all these towering buildings around us. That's 53 West 53rd, 432 Park Avenue. Central Park is only a few blocks away. You can actually see the new Amman residences from here. And I also really appreciate how this section is a little bit more on the lower side. So you kind of have these open view corridors and this is rest of your terrace. Pretty incredible. Lounging beds, outdoor dining area. And again, I just love that you have your sliding glass doors opening up from the interior to this terrace. You don't get this that often. I mean, you're walking distance from Central Park, which is fantastic. And down below you have MoMA and this area just offers so much. But then you're in New York City. I mean, almost every area is packed with amenities, attractions and things to do, you know? I'm always blown away every time we come to New York, every time I come to New York in general, just by the sheer quantity of businesses here as you drive around the restaurants, bars, like. So much to do. Yeah, so much to do, but just like, just so much industry. Absolutely. Tens of thousands of businesses. Absolutely. Another outdoor seating area. I mean, this is a 3,200 square foot terrace. It just keeps giving. Another one over here. Now that we are on the other side of the building, your views change a little bit. Backside is also open. And they stage it as a pickleball court. Pickleball is getting really popular. We can't escape pickleball these days. I feel like all my friends are playing pickleball now. I guess you can have one on the 18th floor of Baccarat Hotel and Residences in New York City. Pretty fascinating. And then you have additional seating area there. Then the terrace wraps around to the back where you have the barbecue area and it opens up to the office that we toured earlier. Now, while we're also here, I wanna talk about the Baccarat Hotel and Residences. It's an incredible building. You have 50 stories and within those 50 stories, you have 60 private residences and 114 hotel suites. And that's what makes this unique or this offering so interesting because all the residence owners can benefit from all the hotel amenities, which are insane. You have a five-star restaurant, you have a spa, amazing lobby, 24-hour concierge, security, staff that always looks after you and it's all within this one offering. If that wasn't enough, Barcard itself is an amazing brand. Over 250 years of history, they're known for their crystals, Barcard crystal, and um, it's just fascinating to see that amazing brand like Barcard can take their understanding of luxury and pedigree and apply it to an amazing hotel slash residential development like this. Pretty cool. Yeah, and even the exterior of the building is meant to mimic the shape and design of Baccarat crystals. So I find it pretty interesting that a brand like that would even get into real estate development. It's pretty, pretty, pretty unique. It is pretty unique. And I agree with you, the design of this building and its glass facade is very striking. And I gotta say, this residence with its layout, its location, and the addition of this 3,200 square foot terrace and combination of it all makes it a rare find. And that's why I'm really excited that we got a chance to tour it. Now, with that, we're done with the first floor. Let's take the stairs so we can check out the second floor.
Now let's check out the second floor. We have three bedroom suites on this level. I have to show this detail to everyone. This is your 19th floor entry, since this is a combination unit, which can be nice. You can actually come direct to your junior primary bedroom or primary bedroom since they're both on this level. Now follow me this way. This hallway takes us to the junior primary bedroom, comes with a king size bed, just like the rest of the rooms. It's also very spacious, small seating area on this side, European oak hardwood floors, and you have this entire wall of glass facing these views. This is what the city is all about. You get to interact with it. You get to enjoy it straight from your bedroom. This is fantastic. Another detail about this unit that I'm really impressed about it has so many casement windows that you can open. In fact, I'm going to open this one for everyone. Let's see. I think I just locked it. There you go. You have to have that in New York City, right? You can get some natural light. You have to. Each room has to have at least one, I believe. Yeah. There you go. Automatic shades. This is incredible. This is the view you get from your junior primary bedroom. Now follow me this way, long hallway. First, we're gonna check out the closet, has more of the darker tones. And because the space is limited, they got really clever with it in regards to using every bit of space. In fact, they even created this gap to curve around this column. So you can put some shoes here, maybe handbags, use every bit of it. Yeah, they have a lot of uh, little interesting curved details like that cabinet we saw downstairs. Exactly. Now, I believe this is a hallway closet. There you go. Some additional storage comes in handy. And the last door opens up to the bathroom. You have your darker cabinet on the bottom. Fabricated vanity here with two sinks. Chrome fixtures that are polished to perfection. Two LED lit mirrors. Cabinetry here is nicely recessed into the wall so it's flush with the mirrors light and bright, then you have your stone floors, your freestanding tub with a picture window facing the city. I like that floors actually run to the wall here, so there's a nice continuity. And on the other side, you have your walk-in shower. They even wrap the column with marble mosaic tiles. And another detail about this shower that I really like is the fact that it has a casement window. Actually, the hotel room that I have also has a casement window in the shower. And this morning when I was taking a shower, I just opened up the window and being able to hear the city while you're taking a shower is an experience. I take New York for what it is. It's loud, it's energetic, but something about hearing the city while you're getting your day started is actually a pretty cool experience. Yeah, and if it's too steamy in there, you can just open the window and it'll take it all right out. Absolutely. Now, let's go back to the hallway so we can continue our tour with this second bedroom suite, which is off of the landing, actually. Again, we also have the same European oak floors here. Second bedroom starts on this side, currently staged as a gym. Again, picture windows, casement addition on this side, nice light fixture. Obviously, this can be another bedroom. And at the end, you have your spacious hallway with built-in closets leading you to your bathroom. Again, just like the rest of the unit, natural stone floors, beautiful stone walls, your floating vanity. These tin profile sinks are very elegant. And on the other side, Mike, you have to come in because I have to go in this shower. We were just talking about the casement window experience, but then you have a full size window looking at the city. That way you can shower on this side, enjoy these views, this is your walk-in shower. This is such a unique urban experience. Like New York City is something else, I have to say. I actually took a shower once on like the 72nd floor of a building in New York and they had a big glass window and it was like one of the most incredible shower experiences of my life. I hear you. I got lost for a second. All right, well, we're going this way now. Welcome to the primary bedroom. Mikey, one second. I really like this door handle. I'm gonna close it real quick so you can get a close up. And this door welcomes you to a long hallway. First, we're gonna check out the primary bathroom. Again, lighter tones, marble floors are all honed. Then you have your vanity here with two sinks, LED lit mirrors, recessed in cabinetry. And I really appreciate how this wood paneling extends out to this side as your makeup area. sits flush with the wall there. Massive casement window bringing natural light. The amount of windows this residence has is actually quite impressive and I'm going right in. Welcome to the walk-in shower, glass enclosed. 
you have beautiful contrast between the white floors and the darker walls. Fixtures are polished to perfection. Built-in bench, shampoo edge, really nice walk-in shower. And right where Mikey is, we have the water closet. Now, let's go back to the hallway. We're actually gonna check out the closet next, which is pretty straightforward, good size. You have a lot of open shelving, hanger space, massive mirror at the end. That way you can get dressed, look at yourself, and get your day going. Now lastly, primary bedroom itself. Comes with an amazing seating area, bed is on my left, same oak hardwood floors, great ceiling height, fantastic views. This entire wall is all glass. And coming back to the seating area again, it's to the point, you have a wet bar on the other side. And I'm gonna take a moment to talk about this wet bar. I feel like wet bars are such underappreciated amenities in primary bedroom suites. Think about it. You wake up in the middle of the night, you wanna get a glass of water. You can do that, you have your fridge here where you can put a filtered water on the sink. You wanna have your coffee, espresso. I'm a light sleeper myself, so if, if I wake up in the middle of the night and I go to the kitchen to grab a water, by the time I come back, I don't know if I'm falling back to sleep. It ruins everything. But you have it right here, and it's just a, it's just a nice convenience. I'll fill this fridge with all kinds of drinks and waters. And One of my favorite things to do is to wake up early in the morning, get a cup of coffee, and then get back in bed to drink my coffee. So, you know, you could just walk over here, make yourself a Nespresso or something, and then yeah. get back in bed. It's great. Absolutely, and uh, cabinetry looks beautiful. You have some open shelving, LED lighting. This section is beautiful. And then you go to the other side, your king size bed, chandelier above, window on that side. Definitely a good size bedroom and you're in the middle of the city in an amazing location. You look down to your terrace. It's just a beautiful residence. everyone that's it for the tour hope you'll enjoy this video and let us know in the comments below what do you think of this amazing residence now I want to give big thanks to the listing agents Ryan Garson and Brian Lewis for making this tour possible and as always you can find more information about this property in the description of this video now if you enjoyed our tour make sure to give us a like subscribe and we'll see you guys next week